Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. Uh, this is going to be for Aries for the second half of your May. So this is going to be from the 15th to the 31st. We're going to take a look at your over energy, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect uh, for the second half of your month. And then we'll see what, what else you need to know, uh, possible outcome and advice. This could be in anything, okay? Nothing specific. You could apply this to any of your placements, even your nodes. Um, so uh, take what resonates uh, and leave the rest behind. Um, what else? If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in, this, is in the description box below. Also keep in mind, these are collective messages for the collective Aries people, not tapping into one specific uh, person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? And like I said, keep in mind, this reading could be in anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what comes up, okay? So uh, Aries, let's get started. What do we have for Aries? Over energies for Aries for the second half of their May for uh, 2022 from the 15th to the 31st. What does Aries need to know? What can Aries expect? What is surrounding Aries for the second half of May? Okay, we have the three of wands. So seems like you're trying to choose a new direction or that, that you're making plans to move or that you're planning for the future here, Aries. All right. With the six of wands, seems like you guys are planning for a move. Okay. Perhaps if it's not a move, you guys might be traveling for the second half of your month. I mean, we do have the uh, memorial holiday coming up. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> Excuse me. You got a page of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. So some of you guys might be getting a new job offer here too. If it's not a job offer, it could be a raise. It could be a promotion or something like that. Let's see what else we have here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Seven of Cups. And the Magician here. Seems like you guys have a lot on your plate right now, okay? Seems like you guys are juggling a lot. Um, seems like you guys are manifesting too. Perhaps manifesting big new things in your life, okay? So as, you know, we move towards the end of the month going into June, I feel like you guys are in this like very sensitive emotional energy, very in touch with your emotions, okay? Um, and, you know, I feel like you guys might be taking a break, maybe, maybe go, going traveling or something like that. Um, like I said, or that you guys are moving. So it seems like there's a lot happening for you guys. Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about this um, Three of Wands. Why is this Three of Wands here? Tell me about this Three of Wands. Why is this Three of Wands here? Why is this Three of Wands here? Uh, Gemini Virgo energy with that magician. Wow, we have the Two of Cups here. I don't know, if you guys are dealing with someone here, such as if you're in a relationship with someone, you might be traveling to see that person or that you might be moving to be with that person or to be closer with, uh, to that person. Six of Swords, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Could be dealing with another Aries here. Or Leo or Sag. Whoever this individual is, this is a new individual that you started talking to perhaps, okay? So uh, Page of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. You know, regarding work, I feel like there is a position that you're fighting for, that you're fighting for a raise or a, promo or a promotion, like I said, okay? Um, there could be some competition surrounding this, but I feel like this is something that you really want here. Um, tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Tell me about this Queen of Cups. Why is this Queen of Cups here? 
And we have the Three of Pentacles. Seems like there's a lot on your plate regarding work here. You know, I feel like there's an energy that you guys are really standing your ground. So I'm getting that, you know, if you guys are working on a project together, I feel like you guys are not really seeing eye to eye. If, if anything, there's a lot of defensiveness, okay? Um, you know, I feel like there's a lot of resistance of other people's ideas, okay? Uh, seven of Cups. Look at the Five of Pentacles here. Well, wow. you know, I feel like Aries, you've you've achieved a lot, and I feel like you feel I feel I, I feel like you fear losing that achievement, okay? Um, you know, with that Five of Pentacles, there could be an energy of struggling financially here. There could be some sort of financial struggle. So maybe that's why you're fighting so hard to get that promotion, uh, to get that raise, or perhaps, you know, uh, to get this new job offer here. The Magician. We have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. I feel like you're manifesting a, a transformation. I just feel like you're looking for some big changes here. You know, I feel like in all areas of your life, and I feel like a lot of you guys are looking for some sort of change in your love life or that you guys are ready for love, okay? And I feel like regarding love, I feel like distance is not going to keep you from someone that you like or that you could see the potential of um, uh, having a relationship with somebody. But I just feel like you're just manifesting just big changes here, uh, Aries. What else do we have for Aries here? What else do we have for Aries for the second half of their May from the 16th to the 31st? What else does Aries need to know? Outcome and advice here for Aries regarding their situations for the second half of their May. What else do we have for Aries here? What else do we have for Aries? All right. We have the King of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We have the King to Queen of Cups right here. Seems like there is a soulmate that you're dealing with here too, where it seems like you're trying to take things to the next level or that you want to take things to the next level. Like I said, I feel like you might be traveling to see this person or, um, or uh, moving to be closer with this individual here. We have the uh, Empress here, Libra Taurus energy. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn energy. Things are going to get so much better because I feel like as you move forward, your whole energy is going to shift. If you're going from like, you know, you know, um, you know, struggling financially, uh, your finances are going to turn out to be really, 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 really well. Um, you know, I do feel like this offer that you're that's coming towards you or this promotion, this raise that's coming towards you, this is something that you're going to openly accept. And I feel like it's going to um, help you greatly financially here. So I feel like you are putting it out there in the, in the universe. And I feel like you're manifesting this big change here for yourself. Um, King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles here. There could be someone new that you're dealing with here too regarding love. Okay. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Maybe this is someone that you've already been dealing with. King of Pentacles. Wow. We have the King of Swords. How many people are you talking to, Aries? It seems like there are a ton of new people in and around you. I do feel like you guys are single here, okay? Um, tell me about this King of Cups. Wow, we have the Six of Cups here. So I feel like you have a plethora of new options regarding love. And I feel like uh, there is an X in the picture here too. So, you know, I feel like perhaps you're you're trying to you know with that three of wands and that two of cups you're trying to figure out which person you have uh that you could see a potential future here with okay seems like there's a it seems like you might have met a soulmate here with the king of cups and the queen of cups maybe that's an x uh, but apply this to your own unique situation you also have this air sign here king of swords and an earth sign king of pentacles Wow, we have the King of Wands that jumped out too. I'm going to take that. It seems like there's a lot of options in and around you, Aries. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Or you could have found someone that embodies all this king, all these kings. And, you know, 
Uh, all these kings represent the emperor, yeah? So, seven, uh, six of pentacles. Yeah, it just seems like, you know, you're putting it out there in the universe and sort of like, here's your reward. Here's this big change that you're looking for, Aries. Six of pentacles, and then we have the four of cups. There's a lot of contemplation here. I feel I feel like you're trying to figure out, you know, which person is right for you. Which person do you want to invest in? Okay, so it seems like there's a lot of options here regarding love. We have the a Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Devil. Wow. Some of you guys might be working on overcoming some dark stuff that you guys have dealt with. It might have been a slow process, but I feel like you guys are overcoming that. Perhaps at some point you guys might have been codependent, but I feel like that energy is being moved away, okay? So Aries, it seems like a lot's happening. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.